2015 would be a better race, but now it's like, whatever, whatever you want me to race, I'll do it, and I feel great doing it, so, that, that race was awesome, it felt great. With, with Andrews, it's 145, did you, did you hope he was a little tired for today? I mean, a little bit, but at the same time, I, I kind of wanted it to be close to make it a good, comfortable race, a good show, but I mean, you know, a win's a win, so I can't complain at all. We could see you were kind of, you know, you didn't want to give maybe a hesitant look back. You were just driving for that line no matter what. Oh, yeah. I, I stuck. I did exactly what Nick Simmons did to me two years ago. And I came off at 150. I just put my full, my full foot on the pedal, and I just went after it. And didn't look over my shoulder at all. I just hammered it full, and it full throttle. And the last five, ten meters, I just dug deeper. Found whatever when, did, when did you realize you had it? Two meters before the finish line, I took a quick peek. I was like, oh, there's no one on my shoulder. And I was, like, I was <laughs> thrilled. I was so thrilled. I mean, last year I, I kind of came off the track with an injury, and I, I was lucky to even win. And this year, I mean, just I guess dominating is kind of what I was looking to do. And I was actually kind of out there and kind of going to it. And uh, I'm doing it in all the time. It's just it's, it's the biggest feeling, the best feeling I've had in the world. This track is a long time. I'm on that whole stretch. I'm I thought for sure that year someone was on my shoulder and I thought it was going to be a quick way to call them. I got to the finish line, I was like, that crowd just picked up. Talk about the strategy going into it. You settled back, but then moved up a little earlier than you did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we were kind of going, we were ready for anything. It was slow, we kind of be up towards the front, it moves fast, we kind of went back. And regardless, with 200 meters to go, being in the top three or four spots at 150, no matter how fast it was, I had to go. I had to try to run away from whoever's going to try and catch me, and that's exactly what I stuck to. Andrew, were you more nervous for this race? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I was more nervous for this race than any in the last last like, year and a half because I, I mean I'm 0 for 2 against Robbie and I, he's, he's a great competitor, a great athlete. And I knew he was coming after me, and uh, I just I kind of had that monkey on my shoulder, just you know annoying the hell out of me. But I really wanted to come out and give it, give it a good race and walk away with a win. And thankfully, that's what happened. With the yeah, obvious elation today. How do you come down from cloud nine and prepare for miles 15? Oh, manual and all those guys. It's just, I can't get excited. I mean, the best way I was thinking about it is, uh, you know, I've won something I've already done what I've been doing so far. If I get two, it's a big bonus, but I definitely turn the points into a bonus. It's just what I can do. So going into it tomorrow, is like, oh, what kind of bonus can I come out of it? Andrew, the crowd was very vocal even when you were warming up. Did you notice that? And what, did it lift you at all? How did it... Yeah, oh yeah, I love this crowd. I love it. It's just, it's like coming out and you just kind of soak it all in, soak in the energy, the, the, the feelings, you get all the emotions. And you can just feel like part of me is up in there cheering me on. It's just the feeling I get when I go out there and they announce my name and the rupture I can get from it just really just picks me up for like 400 meters of it. Was Robbie on your couple radar? A couple more questions. A couple more minutes. You guys just did the yeah. 15. But oh, yeah. I mean, couple that was the minutes. whole point of going at 150. Because I, I knew, I, I figured if anyone was going to get me, it was going to be Robbie. So I figured at 150, I had to do a Nick did to me the Olympic trials and run away from it. And so I went out and tried to put as much space in between me and the fields I could. And then I had an exactly what I did two years ago. I just snuck into second place. And thankfully, I, I was in the first place finish this time. Was that the best 800 of your life? Best feeling 800, yes, yeah, and I just, it just everything can, can connect in, it clicked, everything felt great, it just, I, I'm, I'm still like in shock and happy, I'm still floating on cloud nine, it's going to be hard to just anchor myself back down for the 15 tomorrow. Um, we're, we're in a pretty big hole, I think we need uh, a couple of batons to drop, so 